Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a grpc API and also a grpc client to consume those APIs. So um, some of the benefits of grpc is that you can use HTTP2 and streaming. So that's one of the main benefits. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that today and how to just do um, unary um, APIs as well. So um, what you want to do first is use the grpc template provided to you by Visual Studio. So create a project using that and then you'll want to add a console application or you can do it from another application if you need if you have one existing. Uh, so say you've got uh, um, any sort of front end that you want to add your grpc calls to you can use that um, and then you'll want to go ahead and you'll want to add some nuget packages so you up, lo load up the nuget package manager and search up grpc you'll want to add the um at the grpc.net.client. This is to the console application that I'm adding this to and the tools. The tools will compile the um, proto files that you're going to get into, um, into clients that can be called and services. Okay, so now we've done that. I want to copy across my proto file from my server to my client and change the namespace to match my namespace of my client and change this grpc stub class to client only. That's because I'm going to be using this as the client from my console application. So. Next up in this program file, I'm going to want to set up my call. So I'm going to create a channel and I'm going to give it the address that my grpc is at, which will be defaulting to localhost 5001. And then I want to create a client using that channel. Then I can make a call so this is the default one that's um, included in the uh, grpc template. It's just a say hello um, grpc call. I'll show you a bit later. Um, and you'll want to just output your um, the response. So this is how you call the grpc API. It's pretty simple once you include those packages. And once it's running, I can see my servers started. And I'm about to load up my client. So there we go, we've got my client there and you can see it says, hello YouTube. So you can see that's because I passed the name of YouTube and the um, greeter service um, returns hello. So now I want to be able to provide a different greeting if I want to to the um, hello request. So I'm just modifying my proto file and changing this message that is returned to request.greeting and request.name through string interpolation. Cool, so now I can pass in the greeting because I've created that and added it to my proto file. And now when I start up um, the client, it should say, yeah, it says Bonjour YouTube. So that's a unary, um, which basically means you send a request and you get a reply. Um, but we can also do streaming in grpc and that's one of the main reasons people might use it. So here I'm going to create this parrot says hello 
um, gRPC endpoint and it's going to stream um, replies. So basically I'll send one request to it and it'll just keep sending me back replies like an annoying little parrot. The client has the ability to cancel the um, cancel the gRPC calls, and so that's why you want to check this cancellation token. But if it hasn't been cancelled, you can continue to just write your replies to the response stream. I'm just adding this so that it will send them in at one second intervals. So what I'm doing now is just quickly setting up um, an options sort of menu for the user who's using my console application because I don't want to um, be commenting out code. I want them to be able to just choose which um, gRPC call they want to make. So. Just setting that up now. So now I want to call my um, chatty parrot, or oh, parrot says hello, sorry. So basically this is just getting the next um, reply from the response stream and outputting it to console and I need to pass a hello request with the name and greeting that I want to send to the server and from that it will just keep sending me replies. Cool, so if I run that into two, you can see it keeps sending me messages. It will go on forever if I let it. So now that that's closed, update parrot says hello to have the correct number. And once again, it'll go on forever if I let it. So now I want to go and actually um, cancel the um, cancel the client the call to the grpc endpoint so what i'm going to do is i want to check how many number of hellos there are and if it's greater than or equal to five then i just want to dispose the call which will cancel So I enter number two and it should say hello YouTube five times before closing. So as well as server side streaming, you can actually do client streaming. So in this, I'm going to um, keep sending messages to my server and only once I've finished sending messages to the server will the server reply? So I'm going to have a um, message in this um, object and also a repeated hello request. That's kind of like a list of hello requests and it's actually read only, so you can only add to it or check its properties. You can't, um, you can't, like create a new object so initially I tried to sign a new list to it you can't do that just add to it so I'll show you that now So 
So because I'm waiting for all to be, um, all of the um, request stream, I can um, use this read all async and then I can add to my request and set my message. And then I just return my response. So now if I go back to the client side, I can set up how to call that. So what I want to do is I want the user to enter names and um, once they enter nothing, it's going to get the delayed reply. So I want to check that the input's not empty, not equal to an empty string. And if it isn't, then I want to write a new request, which we have a greeting, which I'm just going to put as higher, and the name will just be the input that the user's put in. Then you'll need to, um, once you're done, complete the request stream, and that will indicate to the server that it should send the reply. And then I'm just going to log that out to console so you can see what happens. Cool, so if I run that and choose the chatty client says hello, I'll get prompted to enter names, so I just enter my names as I wish. And once I've done, I enter enter, and it tells me that I've sent the message and to expect a de delayed reply. So you can also do client and server streaming so they can both chat to each other simultaneously. Um, so I'm just going to show you that now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to have um, the client side send requests similarly to how I was just doing it but this time the server will respond straight away. instead of waiting till after all the client messages have been received. So this is similarly, similar to how you did the, um, the um, handled getting the next um, server response when you're in the client but now we're in the server so we want to respond with the appropriate message when the client sends a message to us so we want to Create a task here that's basically just going to keep um, keep going while there's still um, while there's still stuff in the response stream, and log it out. Cool, so we've output that we've received a message and now we just want to be able to send messages to the server. So I'm going to use the same code as before. I want people to, the user to enter names. It's going to send a request to the server and the server's going to respond immediately. 
and once again once there's an empty string it's going to complete the client side streaming and end the um, session. I've accidentally put that inside my task I don't want that. There we go. I'll just also add a default to my case statement. So now I'll choose number four, my final multi-directional streaming. So as I enter names, it tell me, tells me that's received the um, message basically and what the response is. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this session. I've got all my code available for you on GitHub. Um, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Yeah, see you guys again soon.